Hey everybody, I'm back again to film my monthly favorites. Um, this is actually my first monthly favorites, hopefully first of many. So I hope you enjoy them and yeah, maybe you'll go out and purchase some of the things that I like. Who knows? But yeah, I just wanted to share the things that I'm loving this month. One of the first things, well, first, I'm going to go through my makeup products and work my way through other things that I've been loving. I actually have them like lined up, like OCD, craziness, madness going on in my head. So the first thing I've been loving this month is my Smith Strawberry Lip Balm. I have used this a few times in my video. Um, I just love the formula. Um, I'm the only one who uses it, so sometimes, like, if my nails are in the way, because I always have acrylic nails on, I'll just go like, I'll go like this. <laughs> I know it's a little gross, but hey, I'm the only one using this thing. I usually go back and forth from this and my Bite Beauty. Sometimes my Bite Beauty leaves my lips feeling a little medicated. I don't like that, so yeah, this is something I've been um, swapping it out for. So another thing I've been loving this month, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been loving it this month, is the Amrezy palette. Whoop whoop! I have been really digging into this thing this month. Um, the colors in this palette are just, they're gorgeous. They're just everything. There are, I mean this whole bottom row almost is, you know, except for vanilla, I think vanilla has a slight sheen. Um, but this whole bottom row is matte, and this top row is shimmer, shimmer, shimmer city. And they are so pigmented. They did a really good job on this palette. Um, I've been loving this caramel color here. It is super gorgeous in the crease. This deep plum is just perfect for the outer V just to give it enough smoke, oh, well at least daytime smoke in my case. Um, and yeah, I, everything, it's just gorgeous. I could go on and on. Some more of my favorites are, and have been for a long while now, um, I picked them up at Fame Expo. Fame Expo? Yeah, at Fame Expo um, back in June. The Makeup Geek blushes. Um, I only picked up three because a lot of the other ones were a little, little bit light on me or would probably make me look pasty. Um, I have them in a super large <laughs> Z palette that I am yet to fill, but I will be filling up this bad boy pretty soon. So, the three blushes that I got, the first one is Romance and for my skin tone it's more of a highlight um, or a blush topper I like to call um, it's reminds me of orgasm NARS orgasm but oh I really love it and I love the names of these blushes too um, the next one is Rendeverous oh it's so pretty it's like just a mauve rose color oh, and on the skin I'll actually swatch the other one for you guys as well. It is a really good color for deeper skin tones. Um, you can see that. Look, if I wear a mauve lip, perfect. Yeah, so that's that one. And I'll actually go ahead and swatch um, Romance for you as well. And there's Romance. And the last one I have is probably my favorite of the three so far. And it is Summer Fling. Summer Fling. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's really just a tangerine orange, basically. Especially if you use this under Romance. <whistles> pretty. So I'll go ahead and swatch that one, too. And you know what? On my hand, it's not giving giving you what it would on face basically uh, I went, at first I was really scared to buy these blushes because I was like gosh they're you know swatching them on my hand is not the same as putting them on my my cheeks so I was nervous but um, when I got home and played with them I was like oh my gosh I love them I want more I want more so here's summer fling oh it's so pretty peach 
just flushed orange color. Oh, I know my <laughs> my um my color descriptionating. That's a new word. I just made it up. Isn't the best. But I do what I can, okay? So bear with me. <laughs> the next one is my favoritist, favoritist, that's not a word, but it is today, favoritist mascara in the whole wide world is Smashbox Full Exposure. This stuff right here, oh my goodness. I didn't use it today because I wanted to try out my, um, what is it, the... The Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I do not like that formula. I was really upset I even tried it. If you don't really like to wear lashes and you want to just do up the ones you have, this stuff right here is going to volumize and lengthen and just give you that vavoom lash that we all love to have without putting the lashes on. Yeah. And my last beauty favorite, well at least makeup favorite, is... Um, this little guy right here. I, I do my own eyebrows and I pluck them and I really don't like to cut my hairs. I use them to fill in my sparse areas. So I use this to ch -ch -ch right there and just trim it down to keep it all lined up. And after I tweeze, I like to go under with this and get any little baby hairs that I wasn't able to get with them tweezers. So yeah, this little guy, I think I got him at the beauty supply. It was like three in a pack for like three dollars so yeah those are my beauty favorites moving along I don't even know why I did that but okay so this is a mommy favorite uh, this is something I've been loving for my daughter well my youngest daughter and it is the, the honest shampoo and baby wash sweet orange vanilla it's a two-in-one hydrating and nourishing cleanser natural tear-free and it's hypoallergenic we're almost out but if you go to Costco you can get two big ones for like 17 bucks and not, we've been going through this bottle for the past month and a half and I know it probably seems like oh my gosh you don't wash your daughter every day we do <laughs> but it you don't need a lot and it smells it smells good in a soft way not so harsh like a lot of other baby products my two-year-old has really really sensitive skin and this has helped her skin out a lot because she would get like almost like um, eczema or not even eczema it was just like alligator skin basically and we were using Johnson Johnson and I had to stop using those things and so I was like no more of that stuff we got to go all natural so even her lotion I don't even use lotion I make a oil mixture that I always put on her so this was just super perfect for us um, the smell is really bubbles in my nose Oh, it smells so clean and it's just that it smells exactly like what it is sweet orange vanilla that's exactly what it smells like the next thing I've been really loving for myself is my Sensodyne extra whitening toothpaste I have really sensitive teeth I every time I go out to eat I don't get any ice in my drinks oh, my teeth are just like don't do it please don't don't get the ice so this has actually helped me a lot with the sensitivity. I'm actually able to enjoy colder drinks because I, you know, I like colder drinks, but I couldn't because my teeth were so sensitive. But this has helped them so much and it's whitened them way, well, I'm not even going to say way because my teeth were never yellow. <laughs> my teeth were never yellow, but they weren't as white as what they are now. So this toothpaste is good, good 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 stuff okay so that's that my name is Alexis and I'm addicted to Bath and Body Works yeah um, my next favorite is this brown sugar and carrots deep cleansing hand soap and it's the one with all the little beads and little mmm good filling hand scrubber dubbers and this one smells so good it is brown sugar and carrots. No, the name is not appealing, but I swear it's like it just smells like butter and brown sugar just in a pot in a little container that you wash your hands with, and it is so dope. I love it, and I like it in the kitchen because it's like food smelling. This smell is so November, December, 
October. I know I said I'm all out of sync, but yeah, this is so perfect for these these colder months. Another, I'm gonna do two in one almost. It's some lotions I picked up from Bath and Body Works. I know um, it's from their new line, and I don't remember what it's called. But the two lotions I got were Plum Moscato and Plum Moscato and Almond Harvest. And the other one is Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow Comfort. And these smell so good. This Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow. It's like a clean marshmallow. <laughs> a marshmallow that took a bath. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a marshmallow that took a bath. My husband, he loves this stuff. Good job, Bath and Body Works. Plum, Moscato, and Almond. Uh, it, it, it's like the Jergens original, the almond smelling one, but with more... Uh, it, just with Moscato, I guess. I told you I'm the worst at describing scents, <laughs> but it is okay. So, yeah. These two lotions, I have been loving. I just held up one, but yeah, like I said... These two lotions, good job. My next favorite is something that a friend bought me a while back and I've been really, really pumping it out lately. But yeah, it's the Ed Hardy perfume. I don't know what this one is called. Let's see. I don't know, it's this one though. And I'm pretty sure all of them have this writing on them. But this is so good. It, it's like a Paris Hilton but softer. I know Paris Hilton can be a little like the original Paris Hilton it, it's a little strong sometimes like I can it's still even after I shower the next day I can smell it still and I don't like that. This doesn't do that. Ugh, it smells so good and yeah my friend Adrian bought this for me so thank you and I love you. I um, got a few more so bear with me. Um, the next thing that I've been loving if you can't See, it's right here, burning up. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cakes or bacon and pies are cooling. It is the pumpkin pecan waffles. And I got them in the mason jars because I didn't know how it was going to... I didn't know if it was going to overpower or... I didn't know. I just wasn't too sure. So I got the two for 20. And now I need big ones. I need the big candles. Smells exactly like what it says. Pumpkin pecan pumpkin pecan waffles. I swear, five minutes after it's burning, the whole house smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. I swear. It is so good. It smells amazing. And a few more that I have um, that I've been really liking, is especially this one. This one's gone. That's why I didn't even want to share it because that's not cool, I guess. Um, is leaves. Leaves smell so freaking good. Leaves is dope. Sweater weather, and eh, it's like whatever, but yeah. Um, those candles, I'm loving, and I'm waiting. I missed the two for 22, so I'm waiting for it to come back around so I can go ahead and restock for these colder months, because those candles are going to be burning all season long. So the next thing I've been digging this month is my Tiavana... Caramel Almond Amaretti. And this is just a Tiavana canister. They're like seven, eight bucks. But, oh my gosh, this is my favorite tea from them. They are so not cheap. They, oh my gosh, I think I spent like 30 bucks on this little bit of tea here. I don't want to spill it. When I make this tea, I brew it and then I put it over ice with some, it's a creamer from I can't even remember, but it's the coconut creme. Oh my gosh, those, this and that coconut creme over ice, two thumbs all the way up. And if I had more thumbs, they'd be up too. Yeah, I know there's been quite a few favorites, but I got one more and I'm really excited to share. So, and it also goes along with my tea. Um, I didn't have a tea kettle. So every time I would go to make my tea, I had to boil water in the pot like you know everybody does it um, but I hated it because I would pour it in in my mug and I would get water all over the counter 
and I'd be upset because I have to pick up hot water and sometimes the baby's in the kitchen and it's just like, ugh, ugh. So yeah, um, my husband bought me a tea kettle. I love it. It's purple. Purple is my favorite color. Oh, I love it. So yeah, he bought me a tea kettle and I think he got it at Burlington. It's like the old school ones. It's an old school themed tea kettle. It whistles. Like it really whistles. Like right here. A little whistle. Like. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, those are my monthly favorites. I hope hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it my nose has <laughs> like 17 different smells in it right now but I don't mind because I love them all so much so until next time guys um Anastasia Beverly Anastas <laughs> I mean eh so okay anyway it reminds me of Nar it reminds me of I can't speak today. I really can't. Ugh. Ew. Gross, gross, gross. <sighs> oh my goodness. Like ninety three percent organic as far as like things I use in the house and food we eat. Um so this was something that I was really Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and wipe that up. We pulled it out of the shower for this. But okay. Oh god, that's so good. Oh my gosh, I can't say nothing right.